Hey there, my name is Brendan Paul and I'm a Senior Security Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I'm going to cover IAM Roles Anywhere's Credential Helper and its support for Trusted Platform Module Integration. Here is our agenda for the video today. First, we'll talk about the IAM Roles Anywhere service. Then we'll do a quick overview of the IAM Roles Anywhere Credential Helper, its support for Trusted Platform Module 2.0 integration, and why it's important. And finally, we'll demo the feature. So for those who are not familiar with the service, IAM Roles Anywhere is a service that enables workloads running outside of AWS to obtain temporary credentials using X509 certificates. This helps enable hybrid and multi-cloud workloads to access AWS resources using short-term credentials. The service is compatible with certificates issued by any X509 compliant PKI provider. So let's talk about the IAM Roles Anywhere Credential Helper. This is a tool that helps automate the process of signing requests for temporary credentials with the private keys that are associated with your X509 certificates. The Credential Helper includes TPM 2.0 compatibility, so you can leverage private keys from your secure hardware store. This tool also includes support for a number of other integrations, including macOS Keychain, Windows CNG, and PKCS 11 integration. Now, in some cases, you may be using TPMs that are outside of the AWS ecosystem, but for the purposes of this demo, we'll be using the Nitro TPM on an AWS EC2 instance to demonstrate the feature. If you've not used it before, the Nitro TPM is a virtual device that is provided by the AWS Nitro system, which conforms to the TPM 2.0 specification. It securely stores artifacts like passwords, certificates, and encryption keys, which are used to authenticate the instance. The Nitro TPM can generate keys and use them for cryptographic functions, such as hashing, signing, encryption, and decryption. So to recap, in this demo, I'll be focused on using the Nitro TPM to generate encryption keys used to create a certificate signing request. We'll then issue a certificate using AWS Private Certificate Authority. Then I'll show you how you can use the generated certificate, the associated private key, and the IAM Roles Anywhere Credential Helper to get temporary AWS credentials. If you would like to follow along with this demo, here are the five prerequisites that you will need. The first is an EC2 instance with Nitro TPM enabled. The second is an AWS Private Certificate Authority issuing certificate authority. The third is an IAM Roles Anywhere Trust Anchor, Profile, and Associated IAM Role. The fourth is the AWS Credential Helper. And finally, the fifth is the TPM2 OpenSSL Library installed on the applicable EC2 instance. So first, I'll start off by using AWS Systems Manager to connect to my EC2 instance. And once I've accessed the instance, I'll create a primary key in the TPM owner hierarchy. Now, this primary key is just a top-level key used to derive or wrap other keys in the TPM. Next, I'll create a child key with the primary key as its parent. And when you create this child key, you create both a public key and an encrypted private key, which are stored on disk until you load the private key into the TPM. Now that I've created the child key, I will load it into the TPM and make it persistent. When you run the TPM2 load command, you're taking a previously created TPM object, like the key, and loading it into the TPM so it can be used for operations like signing, decryption, or key derivation. The TPM verifies and decrypts the private data using the parent key. The TPM holds objects like keys in volatile memory when they're loaded. The command TPM2 evict control allows you to make an object persistent with a fixed persistent handle, so you can refer to it even after a reboot. Now that I have my key pair, I'll use the TPM2 OpenSSL provider to create a certificate signing request. The TPM2 OpenSSL provider makes the TPM accessible via the standard OpenSSL API and CLI tools, 
so you can add TPM support to almost any OpenSSL based application. Next, I'll issue a certificate from my AWS PCA Certificate Authority. Then I'll obtain the certificate. Now that I have the certificate, I can use the I am Roles Anywhere Credential Helper to retrieve the temporary credentials from AWS. As you can see, I'm passing the private key handle to the credential helper so it can use the private key stored in the TPM to sign the request for AWS credentials. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how you can use the I am Roles Anywhere credential helper to retrieve temporary credentials from AWS while leveraging private keys stored in a trusted platform module. If you're interested in learning more about the IAM Roles Anywhere service or about trusted platform modules, you can check out the links below in the description.